The Deplorable Patriot is brought to you by God, Country, and Guns. Keeping free men free for over 250 years. Freedom. Ask for it by name. Hey everybody, it's your old pal Jazz McKay, the deplorable patriot. And you know, when you're ruled over by uh, depraved degenerates, depravity has a tendency to be rewarded. Now, take for example, Mr. Mark Allen Campbell. Yeah, Campbell was sentenced to 34 years for repeatedly raping his 10-year-old daughter. But uh, Mr. Campbell recently won the lottery. I'll be back right after this, and I'll tell you all about it. Before we go any further, please subscribe to my channel and like and share this video. Also, visit my Facebook page at The Deplorable Patriot. I'll leave a link in the comments below. Mark David Campbell was uh, recently sentenced to 34 years in prison for raping his own 10-year-old daughter. And uh, But as I mentioned, Mr. Campbell recently won the lottery. What's his prize? Ha-ha! <laughs> An all-expense-paid, taxpayer-funded sex change operation. Now, we're being told that uh, Mr. Campbell's uh, constitutional rights are being violated unless we, the taxpayers, flip the bill for the extravagant cost to have him transformed into a freakishly disgusting facsimile of a female to gratify his sick, uh, depraved, perverted fantasies. I feel pretty. Oh, so pretty, I feel pretty and witty and gay. Now, it seems that Racine Correctional Institute, which is uh, where the, it's a men's prison, by the way, which is where Campbell is being housed, has already allowed this guy to wear uh, makeup to and uh, to dress uh, like a woman and have already given up taxpayer dollars for hormone treatments and uh, counseling from the very first day that uh, he was incarcerated. Now, uh, this dude... Hey, call me ma'am. I'm Call me ma'am. Uh, no. Uh, as I was saying, this dude has now decided that he wants to go uh, full tilt boogie in the whole nine yards with uh, the 100% complete surgical sexual uh, uh, disfiguration surgery known as sexual reassignment. He actually filed a lawsuit uh, claiming that his Eighth Amendment rights were being violated by the prison, saying that the Department of Corrections and their officials were indifferent towards his medical needs. Now, the lawsuit claims that uh, Campbell is being forced to suffer under the cruel and unusual punishment of not being allowed to undergo this drastic uh, uh, body modification surgery that would destroy his reproductive system and his sexual health. Now, I really don't think this is what the Founding Fathers had in mind by cruel and unusual a uh, punishment but then again the intent really doesn't count does it i mean we are talking about brain dead liberal land here and get this a u.s district judge by the name of james peterson actually ruled that the that, that mr campbell does indeed have a constitutional right to force us, we the taxpayers, to pay for his sex change surgery. Admittedly, some members of the public may be outraged at any effort that we make to improve the health and well-being of these inmates, but the true public interest lies in alleviating the needless suffering by those who are dependent on this government for their care and well-being. Uh, that's proof right there that not all the sickos are behind bars. Some of them are, in fact, wearing judges' robes. In fact, this judge is so out of his freaking mind that uh, he has ruled that uh, moving Mr. Campbell, who, by the way, don't forget, is a, uh, a sexual offender. He raped 
his own 10-year-old daughter, moving Mr. Campbell into a women's prison while he waits for his surgery. And I hereby recommend moving this sexual offender who did, in fact, sexually abuse his or her own daughter to a woman's facility while he or uh, she awaits her or his necessary surgery. You, you, you can't make this shit up. I, you, I mean, he, he wants to put a rapist, a convicted rapist, into a women's a prison. What could possibly go wrong? I guarantee you, the women in the women's prison were not consulted about this whatsoever. I guess their safety really is uh, irrelevant to this guy. Now, uh, Campbell has uh, apparently shown absolutely zero remorse for his appalling crimes of, of, of raping, repeatedly raping his own 10-year-old daughter. But why should he show any remorse, right? I mean, in a society run by brain-dead liberals, being a criminal actually gives you special victim status. And uh, the actual, unlike the victims of the criminals, the fake victims here, like uh, Mr. Campbell, are revered and, as a result, rewarded. Besides, I'm sure that incest will be legalized along with eliminating the age of consent altogether soon enough. I mean, what could possibly be off limits to a society that actually executes its unborn children uh, on an industrial scale? But hey, look on the bright side, right? Uh, a rapist is being castrated. And, uh, you know, the suicide rate is up around 40% following such a surgical procedure. And we won't have to worry about years and years of, of legal challenges over uh, this matter, which could undoubtedly cost a lot more than the operation itself. And so, all in all, everything seems to be working out in a satisfactory manner, especially if Mr. Campbell turns out to be one of those 40% of uh, sexual reassignment recipients who actually does commit suicide. God bless America and death to the New World Order. I'm Jazz McKay, the deplorable patriot, and I will see you. Well, thanks for watching. Be sure and like this video, subscribe to my channel, share to your social media, and leave nasty comments below. God bless America and death to the New World Order.